in this video i am going to explain about dewey ceiling okay so what is dewey ceiling suppose we have a plasma here this is our plasma and it contains positive and negative uh, charges so this symbol represents positive ions and this green negative represents uh, negatively charged electrons okay so what is dewey ceiling suppose we have to uh, let us insert two balls metallic balls okay and let us join uh, let us connect these two with a battery this is positively charged terminal and this is negatively charged terminal and let us connect these two with these two balls okay and the ball which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery will be positively charged and the ball which is connected to the negatively charged terminal will be negatively charged okay so here you see then what will happen the negatively charged electrons which are represented by green dots with red negative signs uh, and they will be attracted towards uh, they will be moving towards the positively charged ball okay and similarly the positively charged ion will move towards the negatively charged ball okay then then the positively charged ball this one the positively charged ball will be surrounded by the negatively charged electrons like this okay it will be surrounded by negatively charged electrons and it will take the shape of a sphere and this is called dube ceiling okay and it will be completely sealed if the plasma is cold plasma if the plasma is cold plasma so what do you mean by cold plasma cold plasma that means which is not completely ionized not completely ionized okay and in such cases this uh, positively charged ball will be completely sealed okay completely sealed if plasma is cold plasma is cold okay that means if it is uh, cold plasma that means not completely ionized that means there must be some uh, neutral particles also okay other than the positive and negatively charged ions there must be some neutral uh, particles also okay some neutral suppose this represents neutral particle okay now when it is completely sealed then the electric field due to this positively charged ion outside the sphere will be zero there will be, there will be no influence uh, of this uh, electric field due to this charge outside this okay but if the if the plasma is not cold if the plasma plasma is not cold so plasma is not cold okay if the plasma is not cold okay then there will be thermal motion okay so let me scroll the page upward okay so let me draw the sphere again this is positively charged ion and these are the negative charge suppose negatively charged electrons okay surrounded by negatively charged electrons okay okay like this so here you see at the boundary of this sphere electric field due to this positively charged ion is very weak okay and if the plasma is not 
cold here then then the electrons at the boundary will have enough thermal energy to escape out from this uh, ceiling okay they can escape from the ceiling from the boundary okay and here you see this length from this surge to the boundary of this duvet ceiling is known as lambda d that is duvet length duvet length sorry not duvet duvet length okay this is duvet length okay now you see let us consider the surge density uh, of this uh, shielding okay of this sphere suppose rho rho is the surge density net charge density so then here you see you know the gauss law that is given by rho by epsilon not here this is gauss law okay so let me enlarge this piece so here rho means charge density okay d means the wavelength if phi is the electric potential here electric potential then electric field e is minus del phi so we know this relation and now here you see from these two equation number one and from equation number two we can write del square phi is equal to minus rho by epsilon naught this is suppose equation number three and here the surge density in this sphere will be given by suppose let us consider let us consider ni be the uh, number density of positive ions and any with the number density of electrons okay then the surge density is given by uh, ni into e plus minus ni sorry any into e this minus comes because of negative charge of electron and so hence we can write minus e is equal to any minus n i okay so that's how we can write here so if you use this value of rho suppose this is equation number four now substitute here using four in three in three we get the square phi e any minus n i by epsilon naught this is suppose equation number four sorry five not four this is equation number five okay now you see outside this sphere outside this sphere n i is constant number of positive ions is constant here uh, positive charge density is constant so let us consider n infinity okay n infinity so n i is n infinity c so by boltzmann 
Boltzmann distribution distribution of electron electron distribution that is any will be given by n infinity e to the power phi e by kt okay now let us use these two value use these two values in equation number five okay so if we use these two value in five then we will get then we will get del square phi is equal to e by epsilon naught n alpha e to the power alpha e by kt minus one okay now you see in this case so what we have done here we have put this uh, two values of n i and n e in equation number five then we, we have simplified in the, uh, to get this form okay now we know e to the power x is equal to one plus x if x is very very less than one okay in this case if you take this term e to the power phi into e by kt minus 1 so t is very large that means temperature is very high that's why phi e by kt is very very less than 1 okay so that's why uh, this minus sign so don't be there minus that's why this must be equal to 1 plus phi e by kt okay now we can use this value here if we use that value here then we will get del square phi e by epsilon naught e by epsilon naught and infinity 1 plus phi e by kt minus 1 okay then here minus 1 plus 1 cancel so we will get e and infinity by epsilon naught phi e by kt this is okay uh, and it can be written in this form also del square phi e square phi n infinity by epsilon naught k t so here you see again this can be written as uh, phi by lambda d square okay where lambda d is divalent okay so here this part you can see uh, 1 by d lambda we can write e square and infinity epsilon naught k t so this is lambda d uh, 1 by lambda d square okay and hence lambda d will be equal to root over root over epsilon naught k t by e square n infinity okay so this is an expression for the wavelength okay so hope this is clear to you so thank you for watching this video